the reason how we got to this testing is we have a high index of suspicion that the person has some kind of hypermobility and now we're just trying to figure out what motions are provoking him. So in neutral, when I externally rotate, I get the anterior glenohumeral ligament and also the, the uh, posterior coracohumeral ligament. When I drop him into extension, that slackens the posterior and tightens the anterior coracohumeral. I get him to 45 degrees, and that's the middle glenohumeral ligament. And of course, here we are, full apprehension, where you can do the relocation test. And if you're cruel, the surprise test. If you want to get the posterior inferior glenohumeral ligament and posterior capsule, you internally rotate. You can also do this in sitting. You're going to see components of it that are the same. So here we are. So you're externally rotating. So again, you're getting that posterior coracohumeral ligament and then the anterior glenohumeral ligament. And then here we are all the way back up into extension. That's your apprehension. So the only thing we didn't do was flip into this position here and horizontally adduct to get that posterior inferior glenohumeral ligament.